Dear friends, I am Dr. K. Kannan, Professor Mechanical Engineering, Anjali Amal Mahalingam Engineering College, COVID-19. I am happy to meet you again in the video lecture on the subject Gas Dynamics and Propulsion. This is lecture number 12 on Gas Dynamics and Jet Propulsion. The topic for discussion in this lecture is Fan of Flow Part 1. In the earlier lecture, we discussed the isentropic flow in a variable area duct or isentropic flow in nozzle and diffuser and we solved the problems uh, in the isentropic flow in nozzle and diffuser and in this lecture we will be discussing fan of flow, we will define fan of flow and we will explain the fan of curve and we calculate the property variation in the fan of flow like temperature ratio, pressure ratio, density ratio. The learning outcome to the students at the end of the lecture, the student will be able to define fan of curve, explain, define fan of flow, explain the fan of curve and calculate the properties of the fan of flow. So the one dimensional steady adiabatic flow in a constant area duct with the frictional effect is the driving, is the known as fan of flow. So the flow is one dimensional, it is a steady flow, steady adiabatic flow constant area duct with the frictional effect. So there are there are different the parameters. It is one dimensional flow. So we analyze the variation of properties in one direction. Steady flow, there is no property change with respect to time. And adiabatic flow. So the flow is adiabatic that means the pipe through which the flow gas is flowing is completely insulated. So the flow becomes adiabatic in constant area duct. So it may be a circular pipe or rectangular duct with the frictional effect. We have to consider the effect of friction during the fluid flow. So it is one dimensional, steady, adiabatic flow with the, in a constant area duct with the frictional effect is known as fan of flow. So the frictional effect is the only driving force for the flow. There is no heat transfer across the boundary of the system. So because of the friction, there is change in the properties of the fluid. So normally in the fan of flow, the gas is the fluid flowing in a constant area duct. The fan of flow occurs in many engineering systems including uh, fluid flow in aerospace propulsion system thermal and fluid flow in thermal and nuclear power plant, chemical process plant, gas industries and air conditioning system. So wherever there is gas flow, flow of gas with the higher temperature or the lower temperature with the frictional effect, there we have the, we have to apply the fan of flow concept. So these are all the few applications where, the, where you have to apply the the equations are the def, uh, uh, concept of the fan of flow. The assumptions for the fan of flow analysis, they are the flow occurs at constant area duct. The flow is adiabatic. So normally, practically, uh, we cannot restrict. So it is only a theoretical assumption. So constant area duct is only a theoretical assumption, but normally it will be a diverging passage or a converging passage. But we restrict our discussion uh, for to understand the flow uh, in a constant area duct, adiabatic flow. So there is no heat transfer. We can insulate the device. No work transfer across the boundary of the system. So there is no uh, work done across the boundary of the system. Uh, and there is no heat transfer because the flow system is adiabatic. The fluid behaves as perfect gas throughout the flow. So the perfect gas equation is very much applicable. So PV equal to MRT. Uh, the perfect gas equation is very much applicable to the gas and all points of the flow path. The specific heat and molecular weight of the fluid remains constant. So that means the fluid properties are constant. There is no change in the fluid properties. The flow is steady and the one dimensional. So there is no change in the property with respect to time and there is we study the property change only in one, di one direction. That is what one dimensional. And the wall friction is the sole driving potential in the flow and the effect of the body force is neglected. What do you mean by body force? It is force due to the 
gravity acceleration due to gravity that is also being neglected so the only driving force is the frictional force and we derive the fanner curve we draw the fanner curve so the fanner curve is the fundamental basic curve uh, which uh, which is used for studying the fanner flow process so in uh, isothermal process adiabatic process constant volume process for all the process we have drawn a curve so the line which obeys the condition for the particular process similarly the fanner flow uh, we have to draw a curve so that curve is the basic curve so that is that that is what the basic curve for studying the fanner flow concept so we before we draw we have to uh, we have to uh, take the equation basic equation to draw the fanner curve so for steady adiabatic flow constant area flow the continuity equation so continuity equation we can write rho ac is the continuity equation m dot equal to rho ac is the continuity equation from the continuity equation we write rho c equal to m dot by a so m dot is the mass flow rate a is the area uh, rho is the velocity rho uh, sorry c is the velocity rho is the density so rho c equal to m dot by a which is g we call it as g which is mass flow density so g is the mass flow density that is mass flow rate per unit area now the energy equation from the definition of stagnation enthalpy we write the energy equation so static enthalpy equal to stagnation enthalpy minus c square by 2 so Uh, this is from the energy equation now we substitute for c from the previous equation so c equal to g by rho so substituting c equal to g by rho h is static enthalpy h equal to h2o minus g square by 2 rho square so g square is the mass flow density rho is rho is the uh, uh, density of the fluid now from the equation rho density is a function of enthalpy and entropy so therefore h equal to h2o Minus g square by two into a function of h and h and s. Now, the static enthalpy, the stagnation enthalpy is constant. The stagnation enthalpy is a value minus some value. So we plot the equation in the form of curve. So this equation is plotted in the form of curve, taking entropy specific entropy in the x-axis, enthalpy specific enthalpy in the y axis we have ho which is constant and we have we have different curve for different values of g so g is the mass flow density so we have different curve when you move in the left direction the value of g is increasing so this is what the different curve for we have the curve for different values of g so for example g1 g2 g3 like that the g1 is higher the value of the inner curve is higher than the value of g on the outer curve so this is the the general uh, fanner curve uh, fanner curve for different mass flow rate for analysis we take a single curve the fanner curve for single mass flow density so we take a particular value particular value of g and we have different part of the curve so as we said ho is here H O equal to H plus G square by two rho square. H is the static enthalpy. S is the static specific entropy, and we draw the curve. So in the curve we have different part. So we take point A where the pressure is P A, and the point B where the pressure is P B, and here we have the point F. Right. So this is the choking point where the entropy is maximum, and here. in the fan of flow we have to understand a to f so a to f the upper part of the curve mach number is less than 1 and uh, at this point mach number equal to 1 and here lower part of the curve mach number greater than 1 so if for subsonic flow we have to use the upper part of the curve for supersonic flow we have to use the lower part of the curve and here where the mach number equal to 1 the pressure is p star and the velocity here it is c equal to a star now we have to discuss the flow from a to f so it is subsonic for subsonic flow the fluid properties are changing and uh, at a particular condition it becomes choking for example if you take velocity the velocity is keep on increasing and at a particular point when the mach number reaches 1 the velocity becomes choking velocity 
and the flow in the direction of F to B is not possible because it violates the basic law of thermodynamics. Now look at it here. A to F, the flow A to F, there is change in the increase in the entropy. If the flow occurs from F to B, there is decrease in the entropy which is thermodynamically not possible. So in your process, there will be increase in entropy, there is no decrease in entropy of the system. So process from F to B is not possible. So A to F is for the subsonic flow. For subsonic, when the at the entry of the duct, when the flow is subsonic, the velocity is Mach number is keep on increasing and when the Mach number equal to 1, the flow is called as choking flow. And similarly in the supersonic region, the Mach, at the entry of the duct, the Mach number is greater than 1 and the Mach number is decreasing. Mach number is decreasing and when it, when it reaches m equal to 1, the flow is called as choking flow. So here this is the supersonic region and here the velocity is keep on decreasing. So we have two different types of problems here. The problem, the fan of flow in the subsonic region and the fan of flow in the supersonic region. So initially, initially we discussed the fan of flow, we solved problem for the fan of flow in the subsonic region or the supersonic region. Is it possible to change the flow from the supersonic region to the subsonic region? Yes, this is possible in the case of fan of flow that we will discuss later. So by means of a shock wave, we can take the flow from the supersonic condition to the subsonic condition. In the fan of flow, when there is a shock wave, right, we can directly change the flow from the subsonic supersonic condition to the subsonic condition that we will discuss later. So initially, we study the uh, property variation only in the subsonic region or in the supersonic region and we solve the problem only in the subsonic flow and only in R in the supersonic conditions. And this is how we have to, uh, this is the diagram for understanding the flow of the uh, fan of flow in the constant area duct. We have a constant area duct, we have the property uh, P1, T1, M1, Rho1, C1 and here we have the property P2, T2, M2, C2 and Rho2 and C2 and we have the flow. When the flow is entering with the uh, property P1, the flow, uh, that is, suppose the Mach number is less than 1, the flow Mach number is keep on increasing and here at the choking point, the Mach number becomes 1. At the, at the entry, when the Mach number is greater than 1, when the flow is supersonic, when the, now here the Mach number is keep on decreasing and again at the choking point, the Mach number become 1. So, from somewhere we start with some property we start and at the end we will have the choking condition. Now, we have to find out the property between 1 and 2, property change between 1 and 2. The limit is from 1 to, 1 to choking and 2 to choking, we have to find out the property change and we have to subtract the value, we will get the variation of property between the point 1 and 2. That will that will understand when we solve your problem uh, in the case of fan of flow. And uh, first we take the property change. First property we take temperature ratio. For one dimensional adiabatic flow in a constant area duct, the stagnation enthalpy is constant. That is what we studied earlier. So HO1 equal to HO2. So for perfect gas, uh, H equal to Cp into T. So C TO1 equal to TO2. And TO1 already we defined in the uh, initial uh, discussion. TO1 equal to T1 into 1 plus gamma minus 1 by 2 M1 square, which is equal to T2 into TO2 equal to T2 into 1 plus gamma minus 1 by 2 M2 square. Now rearranging T2 by T1 equal to 1 plus gamma minus 1 by 2 M1 square divided by 1 plus gamma minus 1 by 2 M2 square. This is the temperature ratio uh, for the fan of flow. And the above equation may also return considering one state is choking m equal to 1 and another state is general. For example, substituting m equal to m1 equal to 1 and t1 equal to t star, t2 equal to t and m2 equal to m. So in the equation, we take the flow m1 is, is choking condition, m1 becomes choking condition, m1 is choking condition means m1 equal to m1 equal to 1 and the corresponding temperature t1 equal to t star. So Calculating T by T, T star equal to the simplifying, substitute M1 equal to 1 and the simplifying this becomes T by T star equal to gamma plus 1 by 2 into 1 plus gamma minus 1 by 2 M square. This is the T by T star ratio. 
So T is the temperature anywhere in the fan of flow condition and T star is the temperature at the choking point and how the properties are changing with respect to Mach number. So we just make a plot here, Mach number in the x-axis starting from 0 to 10 and T by T star in the y-axis. So for different Mach number we take gamma equal to 1.4. So for different Mach number we plot the value so the temperature varies like this. Now we have to consider the curve from for the supersonic region or the subsonic region. So initially this part up to this one this is subsonic condition from 10 to 1 it is called a supersonic condition. So this is how the properties are temperature is changing. Similarly the pressure ratio from the continuity equation for constant area duct rho 1 C1 equal to rho 2 C2. So substituting value of rho equal to P by, P by RT from the equation of state. So from the uh, perfect gas equation rho equal to P by RT. So substituting here P1 by RT1 C1 equal to P2 by RT2 C2. Rearrange the term the pressure ratio may be written in the form of so P2 by P1 equal to C1 by C2. C1 by C2 is the velocity ratio R into T2 divided by R into T1. R is getting cancelled. So from the definition of Mach number we have C equal to M into square root of gamma RT. So then P2 by P1 equal to M1 by M2 square root of gamma RT1 divided by square root of R gamma T2 uh, into T2 by T1. So simplifying this we will get M1 by M2 into T2 by T1 to the power 1 by 2. Now we substitute for T2 by T1. So this becomes P2 by P1 equal to M1 by M2 plus into 1 plus gamma minus M by 2 M1 square divided by 1 plus gamma minus M by 2 M2 square whole to the power 1 by 2. So the temperature ratio to the power 1 by 2 into M1 by M2 that is what the pressure ratio P2 by P1 equal to M1 by M2 into the temperature ratio to the power 1 by 2. Now here again we go for the choking condition, we simplify for the choking condition. The above equation we also return considering one state is choking. We substitute M1, M, M equal to 1 and another state is general. Substituting M1 equal to 1 as usual we take M1 equal to 1 and the corresponding pressure P, P1 equal to P star and we substitute P2 equal to P and M2 equal to M. So in the equation we take P M1 equal to 1, so P1 becomes P star, we take P2 equal to P and M2 equal to M. So substituting P by P star equal to 1 by M into gamma plus 1 by 2 into 1 plus gamma minus 1 by 2 M, M square whole to the power 1 by 2. And the property change, how the pressure ratio is changing uh, in the fan of flow for different Mach number from 0 to 10 where gamma equal to 1.4 for air. So M value, when the M value is changing, the pressure is changing like this. Here again we have to take the two part, one is a choking condition, either we have to take curve from here to the point 1 or from 10 to the point 1. So this is subsonic region and this is the supersonic region. Then density ratio, so from the equation of state rho equal to P by RT, so and the density ratio rho 2 by rho 1 equal to P2 by RT2 into RT1 by P1 which is P2 by P1 into T1 by T2. So substituting the values of P2 by P1 and T2 by uh, T1 and simplifying we will get rho 2 by rho 1 equal to M1 by M2 into 1 plus gamma minus 1 by 2 M2 square divided by 1 plus gamma minus 1 by 2 M1 square to the power 1 by 2. So substitute so simplify again as usual the above equation may be written by considering one state is choking that is M equal to 1, another state is general, we take M1 equal to 1 and rho 1 equal to rho star, rho 2, we substitute rho 2 equal to rho and M2 equal to M. So in the equation, we substitute M1 equal to 1 and M2 equal to M. So here we have to substitute M1 equal to 1. So simplifying, we will get rho by rho star equal to 1 by M uh, into 2 into 1 plus gamma minus 1 by 2 M square divided by gamma plus 1 whole to the power 1 by and the variation of density here again uh, rho by rho star equal to uh, rho star in the y axis and we have the curve which is very much similar to the pressure curve. So for gamma equal to 1.4. So we stop here. So these are all the uh, books I have written in the mechanical engineering subject. You may find one book gas dynamics and jet propulsion. You can refer to, refer to the book for additional information in the theory part and more solved problems. 
and uh, thank you for so other property change property change in other other properties we will discuss in the next lecture so thank you for watching so please post your comments on the comment box so you can contact me through my whatsapp number or the mail id for any clarification on the subject so we will meet again in the next video uh, with the other uh, with the with the discussion on other prop property change of other properties and uh, the general uh, gas tables on the fan of flow we will discuss in the next class.